Welcome and thank you for joining us. The Median 3000 basic IP networking configuration is part of AudioCode's self-learning series. The objective of this self-learning module is to know how to configure the IP networking parameters for the Median 3000. The device is a four slot chassis with four front and four rear slots that houses communication blades, synchronization and alarm braids and rear transition modules also known as RTM. The device's chassis modular design allows easy add and replacement of modules. The slots are numbered from 1 to 4 where slot 1 is at the bottom and slot 4 is at the top of the blade cage. For clarity this figure displays the device without communication blades. Two types of blades can be hosted on the Median 3000. TP6310 blades or TP8410 blades. The device can operate in one of the following modes. Simplex mode. This mode provides only one VoIP communication blade and one synchronization and alarm blade. High availability 1 plus 1 HA mode. This mode provides system redundancy. The device houses two VoIP communication blades, one active and one standby, two RTMs, and two synchronization and alarm blades. Simplex mode. The chassis with TP6310 blades in simplex mode hosts the following. One, front panel slot one, TP6310 blade. Two, slot 2 synchronization and alarm blade 3 slot 3 slot covered with a blank panel 4 slot 4 slot covered with a blank panel 5 and 8 blank panels covering unoccupied slots 6 rear panel slot 2 RTM 6310 providing STM1, OC3 or T3 interfaces and dual gigabit Ethernet interfaces. 7. Slot 3, slot covered with a blank panel. The chassis with TP8410 blades in simplex mode hosts the following. 1. Front panel slot 1, TP8410 blade. 2. Slot 2, synchronization and alarm blade 3 slot 3 slot covered with a blank panel 4 slot 4 slot covered with a blank panel 5 blank panels covering unoccupied slots 6 rear panel slot 2 RTM 8410 providing PSTN E1T1 and dual gigabit Ethernet interfaces 7 slot 4 RTM 8410 providing more PSTN E1T1 interfaces and gigabit Ethernet interfaces for 16 span simplex configuration. Slot 4 is covered by a blank panel. The Audio Codes Median 3000 is shipped with a factory default IP networking parameters for the operation, administration, maintenance, and provisioning. The default IP address is 10.1. 10.10, while the default mask is 255.255.0.0 or prefix length of 16 and the default gateways IP address is 0.0.0.0. To change the default IP networking parameters on your device using the web-based management tool web interface do the following. Connect one of the Ethernet ports located on the RTM8410 or RTM6310 directly to the network interface of your computer using a straight through Ethernet cable. Change the IP address and subject mask of your computer to correspond with the default management IP address and subject mask of the device. Access the web interface. Configuring the IP address for simplex mode. On your computer, start a web browser and in the URL address field, enter the default IP address of the device. 
the web interface's web login screen appears in the username and password fields. Enter the case sensitive default login username, admin with a capital A, and password admin with a capital A, and then click login. To open the interface table page, go to the configuration tab, then the VoIP menu, then the network option, and finally the IP interfaces table. Select the index radio button corresponding to the OIMP media and control application type and then click edit. Change the IP address to correspond with your network IP addressing scheme, for example IP address 10.15.20.1, prefix length 16 and gateway 10.15.0.1 and then click submit. On your computer, change your PC's IP address to correspond with the new network requirements. You can now access the management interface using the new OIMP IP address. In the URL address field, enter the new IP address of the device. Go to the Configuration tab, then the VoIP menu, then the Network option, finally the IP Interfaces table, and double check that the new parameters are the ones you just configured. To save your settings by resetting the device with a flash burn, on the main toolbar, go to the Device Actions tab, click the Reset button, a confirmation message appears requesting you to confirm. Click OK to confirm device reset. High Availability Mode This section describes how to assign IP addresses to the Median 3000 High Availability HA device. The Median 3000 HA houses two TP6310 blades or two TP8410 blades, where one is active while the other is redundant or in standby. Each of these two blades has a different private IP address, which is used for initial configuration maintenance or fallback in case of a major device problem. In addition to the private IP addresses, the device has a global or public IP address used by the active blade for communicating with the IP network. These global IP addresses can be configured using web management tools. From the perspective of the network, the two blades have the same IP address, global IP address, and the redundant blade is a transparent entity. The chassis with TP6310 blades in high availability mode hosts the following. 1. Front panel slot 1 active TP6310 blade. 2. Slot 2 active synchronization and alarm blade 3 slot 3 standby redundant TP6310 blade 4 slot 4 standby redundant synchronization and alarm blade 5 and 8 blank panels covering unoccupied slots 6 rear panel slot 2 RTM6310 providing STM1 OC3 or T3 interfaces and dual GBE interfaces. 7. Slot 3. RTM6310 redundant, providing dual GBE interfaces. The chassis with TP8410 blades in high availability mode hosts the following. 1. Front panel slot 1. Active TP8410 blade. 2. Slot 2, active synchronization and alarm. 3, slot 3, standby redundant TP8410 blade. 4, slot 4, standby redundant alarm and status blade. 5, blank panels covering unoccupied slots. 6, rear panel slot 2, RTM8410 providing PSTN E1T1 trunks and dual gigabit Ethernet interfaces. 7. Slot 4. 
RTM8410 providing more PSTN E121 trunks and Gigabit Ethernet interfaces. The audio codes MEDIN 3000 is shipped with factory default IP private addresses and other parameters used for its initial configuration. The default private IP addresses are for the blade on slot 1 10.1.10.10 .10 and for the blade on slot 3 10.1.10.11. The default mask is 255.255.0.0 and the default global IP address is 0.0.0.0. .0, .0, .0, .0, .0. The first step to assign the IP address consists of connecting your PC to both TP blades via a hub or switch. If you are using TP6310 blades, it has to be a switch and not a hub. Change the IP address and subnet mask of your computer to correspond with the default private IP addresses and the subnet masks of the device. The second step consists of assigning the new IP private address using the boot piece server. To do this, you will need the MAC address for each blade. This can easily be found on the front of the blade. On your computer, start the AC boot P utility and add a boot P client for each blade with a new private IP address, as shown in the example. Once the private IP addresses are assigned, access the web interface with the IP address that you assigned to the blade in slot 1. Define the global IP address in the multiple interface table and reset the media 3000 from the web. Reaccess the web interface with the new global IP address. Configuring the IP address in HA mode. Start the AC boot P utility. On the client configuration tab, click the add new client button. Configure the following fields for the blade on slot 1. In the client MAC field, enter the device's MAC address. The MAC address is printed on the label located on the underside of the device. In this example, 3B 4702. Ensure that the checkbox to the right of the field is selected in order to enable the client. In the client IP field, enter the new IP address that you want to assign the device. In this example, 10.15.20.10 In the subnet field, enter the new subnet mask that you want to assign the device, for example, 16. If required, in the gateway field, enter the IP address of the default gateway. Click Apply to save the new client. Do the same for the blade on slot 3. Enter the MAC address, in this example, 3B4722. Then the IP address, in this example, 10.15.20.20. .20. Then the subnet mask, for example 16. Then if required, the gateway address. Click Apply to save the new client. To enable the device to receive its new networking parameters through the BitP process, power down and power up the device in the following way. Power down the chassis, power up the chassis and wait about 20 to 30 seconds, and then power down and power up the chassis once again within 15 seconds. Both blades send a boot P request to the network and the boot P server sends the new private IP addresses to the blades. In AC boot P, verify after about 15 seconds that both blades have received their new private IP addresses.
Now you have to define the global IP address. To do this, access the WIMB interface with the IP address that you assign to the blade in slot 1. In our example, 10.15.20.10. Open the interface table page. For this, go to the configuration tab, then go to the VoIP menu, then network, and finally to the IP interface table. Click the add index button and define global IP addresses for the OAMP, media, and control and application types as desired. In this example, 10.15.200.100. Prefix length 16 and gateway 10.15.0.1. Click Submit. To save your settings by resetting the device with a flash burn, on the main toolbar, go to the Device Actions tab, click the Reset button, a confirmation message box appears requesting you to confirm. Click OK to confirm device reset. The new global IP address is saved to flash memory and the device resets, entering HA mode with active and redundant blades. Reaccess the web interface with the new global IP address that you assigned to the device for the OEMP interface. The device is now accessed through the active blade in slot 1. The redundant device synchronizes with the active device and updates its configuration according to the active device. When both devices become operational in HA, the HA status is indicated as operational. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions regarding this module, please contact us at training at audiocodes.com.